Hi hey Leo, so welcome to your Oracle reading. This is for the week of March 25th through the 31st. We've got Easter coming up, guys. Let's jump in. Let's see what the cards want to bring out for my Leos. Ooh, first one out, we've got Web of Creation, the Spider Spirit. Ooh, be aware of what you're weaving in your life to create better experiences. Pay attention to uh, the emotions being triggered, the vibrations, uh, environment, what's around you in the web, shaking that web, and how it's affecting you, other people's influence, uh, situation, things like that. What else for my Leos? Pop. Ooh, I love it. Path of knowledge. You are journeying into the realm of knowledge to assist you or to assist in your personal growth personal growth knowledge oh applying your knowledge integrate your knowing is what i'm hearing integrate the knowledge of what you already have oh, utilize it mm -hmm. oh okay keep going oh on that path of knowledge guys sometimes it's more about knowing what you don't want what doesn't work for you than actually having a set rigid goal of what you think will work it's better to know what what doesn't work what you don't want that moves you closer to what you do want helping hand the universe is helping you find something you need that will lead you to the next step yes 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 and it's coming in 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 the sense the knowledge is coming to you of what you don't want what's not working uh, and it's moving you closer to what does work and what you do want. Helping you find that. Oh, I love it. Okay. We're using our tea leaf um, oracles. I will have all the decks listed in the description box. That one just flew out. We got diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Or both. For some reason, I'm wanting to say or both. We're going to leave that one to the side because it just flew out. It's a message. Yeah. Come in on the web of creation. Other people's influence. The energies around you. The environment. How is it affecting you? We've got angel. Spiritual guidance. Protection from harm. If you've been uh, in a sense of dread. Of worrying. Not safe. That kind of thing. Uh, that's coming to say you are safe and it may just be uh, in your mind your own energy telling you things are not working out for you when they possibly are rainbow the most most different part most difficult part of a situation is over yeah yeah things working out better than you think but check your environment and how it's influencing your energy and how it's triggering you uh, on a mental level of scripting off something that's causing anxiety producing anxiety and stress coming in on your path of knowledge you've got cup you should accept valid criticism mm. Ooh, valid criticism that means constructive criticism guys not somebody just being mean and rude to you it's uh advice it can it feels like criticism like you're being judged but it's really advice from the heart from an outer source that's telling you what they see in hopes that it will help you because we're all blind to ourselves. is there anything else on that for my leos knowledge the path of knowledge dog close up pleasure with a close friend Ooh, close friend so somebody close to you could be family friend but somebody close is going to give you try to give you constructive criticism uh don't don't get triggered on an emotional level from it it's not that they're saying anything bad they're trying to point out something you need to see help in hand what's coming on that one staff you will be taken care of in a in difficult times having faith to know there's always a helping hand it will always show up for you uh the reciprocity um give give and receive precious gift over there oh is there anything else on that helping hand it's for my leos 
right there. Desk, pay attention to your work. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your work. Oh, and the criticism, a constructive criticism may be on something you're working on or job, something like that. So, yeah. Ooh, I like those cards. Let's keep going, guys. Let's pull some more out. Let's come in on your web of creation. And the angels have got your back right now. Mm -hmm. Skull. Real transformation requires real honesty to move forward in life. We're reiterating back on the constructive criticism. So, yeah, don't get triggered by it. Really take it with a, you know, from the heart and really get honest with yourself. Are, you know, are they pointing out something I really need to pay attention to here? Coming in on that path of knowledge, we've got key. You have the key to open the gates of happiness and abundance. Yes, you do. Take the advice. Uh, it's not It's not so much you're being judged. It's actually help here. Helping hand. Coming in on that, you've got spirit world. Spirit is trying to communicate with you. Pay attention to the signs. Yeah, don't get triggered by them. Pay attention to them. Oh, let's keep going. Let's get our other deck here. To come in on the skull real transformation it's going to require you to be truly honest with yourself not with others just yourself guys you start with self you can tell yourself the, the honest truth Ooh, we've got two that come out on that um, honesty about sexuality embrace your sexual nature experience divine bliss and link your wild glow up power to that hot cosmic energy. I'm feeling like this one is shadowed because it came underneath the face, guys. So there's something we are judging ourselves on here when it comes to that kind of energy within ourselves. But here, have faith in the universe. Let it impress you with its magic. Enjoy the beautiful journey. The beautiful journey. Ooh. Now remember that's coming in on that web that spider web uh so some we may feel like others are judging us for something right here um pay attention to how how it's making you feel and how it may be triggering you to judge yourself and hold yourself in a lesser light come in on that path of knowledge and that key you hold the key and the key is your perception of things and what you're telling yourself Fertility. This is the perfect time to start a new, to start new projects, fall in love, change jobs, and give birth to new abundant life. A new abundant life. Absolutely. Oh, to open up to the divine birthright of abundance and happiness. All good things. Coming in on spiritual and the helping hand. Spirit world is helping you. The staff, you got also got the staff. What was it saying, guys? You'll be taken care of in difficult times. Are you able to trust that? Blooming. You're not built to shrink down to less, but to bloom into more. Bloom and spark with no holding back. With no holding back. Oh, love it. Let's keep going. I'm going to pull uh, Susan Dawn's tarot in translation. This one is for matters of the heart. So this is love and relationship. And it can be any love and relationship from romantic to family. That kind of thing. See what's coming out for my Leos. Ooh, first one. Hold on. There's another one. There it went. <laughs> Ow. And look what we got. We got the nine of swords backtracking to the eight of swords. Ooh. <laughs> You're letting your internal fear, fears get the better of you by repeating negative beliefs or mindsets, creating turmoil within yourself and your connection. Bring, bring your focus away from fear and back to love. This is needless stress and anxiety, guys. But we are backtracking to the eight. Uh -huh. Stay focused. You're holding on to old belief or patterns around love that is making you feel powerless stagnant or trapped within your partnership change your perception to shift the energy and your connection now remember this over here is what is shadowed on us that sexuality uh, so yeah mm. 
Okay, let's go to job, money, career, <laughs> business, that kind of thing. I'm going to show you the back of the deck. Because sometimes it works as a signal to help on a subconscious level, guys. There it goes. Subconscious level to open the portal within your psyche that has you completely coming into agreement and understanding that you do have a divine birthright to happiness, love, abundance, and all good things. See what's coming out for my Leos this week. Let me tap that deck again. There we go. Leos. It's for my Leos. Ooh, first one out. Hold on. There's something else coming with that one. There it goes. Legal matters. Bad contract. Not paying debts. Divorce. Avoiding responsibility or shady work. Face your life honestly, no matter how inconvenient that truth might be. If you choose to proceed with integrity and honesty, you will find yourself on a stable pathway towards success. There comes again, guys, the constructive criticism. You being deeply honest with yourself on things. Uh, not judging yourself, not judgmental and critical of yourself, but just being honest. What's coming with it? Victim energies. Victim mindset keeps you blocked energetically and emotionally. Choose to release the victim mentality and become an empowered survivor to learn from the past and move forward to a joyful and abundant future. Yes! Guys, this is our week to love ourselves. Seriously, love and accept yourself as you are. <laughs> yeah, because we're, we all have our struggles. We all have our shadows. Next deck, we're using a newer deck. Well, not really newer. It's just decks I haven't used in a while for us. Messages from your animal spirit guides. Let's see what will come out for my Leos. We're getting one, two, and three. Oh, let's take them. What we got? Peacock. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. Mm -hmm. Don't judge yourself on it, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't think of I'm egotistical. No, you're not. You're beautiful. Let yourself stand out. You also got what? Kiwi. Ooh, kiwi. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. Walking meditation each day for the next week. Ooh, to help clear your mind, but also to help ground you. Ooh, yes. Cardinal also coming out. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. Uh, think of this one as uh, Libra, the scale energy of being truthful with yourself, guys. Not judgmental, just truthful and very accepting and loving and understanding of self. Mm -hmm. Next deck is Healing Mantra Oracles. This is, the, this is actually the first time I've used this deck. I bought it over a year and a half ago. And it's the first time I'm pulling it to use it for us. I hope y'all enjoy it. <laughs> I really do. I, lo I love it. I don't know why I didn't pull it sooner. Leo's, Leo's, we're getting this one, this one, and that one. Ooh, let's go from the bottom here. Growing beyond guilt. Growing beyond guilt. It couldn't have happened any other way. If it had, of, you wouldn't be as strong, as wise, and as smart as you are now. So it couldn't have happened any other way. Let go of any guilt. What else did we get? Anchoring the light. Bringing the light and anchoring that positivity down into yourself. The light is always within me. My guidance is always within me. And it shines forth to guide me. Uh -huh. And exploring unity consciousness. Ooh. Everyone goes through shit. Guys, everyone. The divine gives it to us equally. The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. Everyone. You're not a freak. <laughs> yes. I am one eternal light 
appearing as all. I'm a one eternal light appearing as all. We all go through it. Let's get you some daily healing messages going through the whole deck for my Leo to see what message we'll get for my Leo's. For my Leo's. Ooh, we got one that turned over. Mm -hmm. Got one out of the whole deck. That means y'all are doing really good. And we got fuzzy furry on the back of it. Yes. You got a fur baby. <laughs> if not, just get yourself a stuffed animal or fluffy blanket. Yes. Soften and open back into love all day long. Soften and open back into love all day long. Ooh, guys, I think my camera just glitched. If it did, I am so sorry. Hopefully, it will be okay on edit. Mm -hmm. Let's get you a fortune cookie going through the whole deck. This is for my Leos. We're getting that one. What else? Yes. Keep going. Yes. Ooh. We're taking them, guys. You got four on the fortune cookies. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards, and a major purchase is worth making. Mm -hmm. Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people who no longer who people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. Mm -hmm. Got challenges. Take time out from problems or conflict or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Softly to soften back into love all day long. And assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. Birth of a child also likely. Mm -hmm. Soulmate connections. Assert yourself and that doesn't mean in an angry way. <laughs> Leos, I hope it was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed.